Donald Trump dance. Oh, Vic, tell me, how does... Yeah. Is, is, is it this? Right. Good morning! It's like more like trombone kind of thing. There you go. And it's like, I don't really want to be here. <laughs> and he keeps doing it. All right! Give me some YMCA or something. What would he have? Uh, uh, I got one. I got one. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on this beautiful Thursday morning here. Oh, listen to that. Rocking music. Is this our theme song? Yeah. I'm not playing that. Is that me? Oh, Matt, it just keeps that's going. That's just a song. Yeah, that's... It's thing. fun to stay at the YMCA. They want to tell me that it's the YMCA. You got to work on that, man. <laughs> I love it. Good morning, everyone. October 22nd here in Glendale, California. I got to say, it's kind of a nice day out there. It's a little over. Vic was complaining that it was drizzly and it was. Right. But I love it. I love it. It's cooling off and it feels appropriate. The weather is. Uh, feels like fall out there, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me life. It gives me energy. It reminds me that I'm alive. Here it is. This is the MAGA, the MAGA version. Oh, M A G A. <laughs> I'm Tim Heidecker. I'm so happy to be with you today. We've got Brett Michaels up top and Michael Keaton from Mr. Mom down bottom. <laughs> Okay, guys. All right. And all through the show, I'm wearing this beautiful fan flannel that, I don't know, if you've seen me over the years, this sucker, it's J. Crew. I've had it maybe 10 years, this I this thing. You, Remember <laughs> Mr. Mom when he's like, oh, yeah. he, he, his his uh, flannel gets tattered and he has to throw it away with his son's whoopee? Remember the <laughs> whoopee? You're getting all stud. <laughs> so, I've loved this. It's one of one of my most prized possessions, but... Throughout the show, as it heats up in here, we're going to be taking this off. I've got this beautiful fruit bat shirt on, which everyone loves, the fruit bats. And we're going to see how wet can they get? 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 So we'll see. And if I keep this on, it's going to get sopping down there. It's gonna get wetter. How wet can they get? They get. They get. They get. I was watching, they get, they get, they get. I was watching Bruce Springsteen being it's interviewed, and damp. and uh, he wears his collar up. That's kind of a nice, neat thing to do. You wear your collar up on a shirt like this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. We don't know. We got a great I'm show today. Fly for white guy. Did that just happen in my head, or is that going out? Because I'm wondering, <laughs> did that just happen in my head, or? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Ilana. Here you go. Create another fable if you wanted to. <laughs> After hearing this, she might not come on. No. Ilana Glazer from Narrow Country. I'm sorry. You said it like Trump. <laughs> Ilana Glazer from a Narrow Country. I'm sorry, from Broad City and many other things. Narrow Country. Go! <laughs> 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 Are my drops extra quiet today? Let's hope so. I know. Oh, I turned mine. I had to turn mine up because I couldn't hear it. We've yeah, got can't. a lot of other things to talk about too. <laughs> we have Party Boy sixty nine joining us later. Scream, Dracula, scream, you low down motherfucker! Now y'all know. Y'all know that I don't know who that is. <laughs> but Doug and Vic are fans, mm -hmm. and I respect them. Even though we are the same age, it does often feel like. We come from totally different generations. <laughs> Although, Vic, you are but, younger than me. And then Doug is older than you, right? Mm -hmm. We're not the same age. We're not the same. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You know. Doug is 63. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait till I'm 64. <laughs> well, I'm 64. We were doing, when you I know, my. I don't want to give too much away. We were doing a very funny thread on my Mark and Greg thread the other day. I hate revealing any of this, but one particular moment did make me laugh when we jumped to the conclusion that Mark was 60. And we thought... Well, I thought you're 60. No, he's like, no, I'm not 60. No laughs from when you guys. When I'm 64. <laughs> uh, Wait, Mark who? Approach. Oh. You know, the, Mar the Marion's Wish thing that all my audience knows and loves. <laughs> <laughs> Hopes well. This Friday, of I'm course, is the big, that, yeah. and evening, speaking of Doug Lucenhop, 
who introduced the show uh, back when we did the show, a live stand-up show. It's Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific. That's Saturday, 6, 7, 8, 9 Saturday. Eastern. Right? Wait, yeah. this Saturday? <laughs> this Friday, Saturday. the 23rd. I'm hearing Saturday. Saturdays are for the boys. Don't you have any Friday drops? No, I don't. I don't have <laughs> Stop putting Saturday in people's heads. <laughs> it's Friday. It's the long-awaited. What's the con- it's Friday, There we go. Friday. Was this Rebecca Black? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The great Rebecca Black. 147 See, million. See, you know views. stuff. You Amazing. know, like. I keep in touch. Yeah, I mean, you know, like young person stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> the 10 year old song, too. BTS is a pop group right now blowing up the charts. <laughs> BTS. <laughs> right? What does that stand for? Is there a thing? There? Is, this, is that their names? Are you talking about those weird twin brothers? No, I'm the talking about the Korean, uh, oh. the Korean boy bands. Right? Is that BTS? Yeah. Do you know who I'm talking about? Those yeah, like K-pop. those Canadian K-pop. like twin brothers with like frosted tips. The um yeah, I know who you're talking about. I don't no. know what their name is. Oh. Enough's uh, enough. Canadian let's just look it up. Canadian <laughs> brothers with frosted tips. It's the Mackenzie it's, brothers. It's the kind of thing you gotta see the video to really appreciate it. Okay, we'll cue that up for next yeah, week. We'll get yeah. that. Come on. <laughs> um, Kowarski brothers. Thirty one kilos. Twenty one kilos. Twenty three kilos. No, not the Kowalski brothers. Uh-oh. It's a name like... <laughs> really? I'm letting you guys get this through your system. I'm kind of zoned out. Um, anyways, let's get to the city of the day real quick. We have a very packed show. We've already wasted all of your time. We've wasted your time. I don't know why you're still watching. How are our views right now, Matt? Consistent? Getting ratioed real bad. Uh-oh. B44. B4-4 is the... Is B4-4. B44. <laughs> It's a boy band. I uh, don't know them. City of the Day. Is this the new uh, this remastered is the new track? Mix. Yeah. Okay. It's got the a little bounce to it, a little really punch. Nice. It's a real solid waveform. City of the Day. I do like a, a chocolate rain version of this. <laughs> City of the Day. City of the Day. We should get him to uh, cover City of the Day. Mm-hmm. He would do it on Cameo. Oh, sure. Anything for a price. No, we should get him on the show, Matt Book. Yeah. Should he have a live performance? Who? The, the Chocolate Rain guy. Chocolate. Ties on day. Ties on day. Ties on day. Anyways, City of the Day is brought to you by Nuff Shed. Are you sick and tired of trying to fit all your crap inside your shed, but it just doesn't fit? Only to realize that you brought, bought the wrong size shed? Now there's Nuff Shed, the only shed solution for shed lovers with too much crap and not enough space called Nuff Shed, and our certified shed head will inspect your shed. If there's too much crap, he'll take some stuff at no extra charge. In fact, Nuff Shed is free. It's free. Why wouldn't you do this? He's, this is, uh, that's right. Nuff Shed is one man. His name is Duff Shed, like Duff McKagan. He was born with shed in his name, and he's happy to look at your shed and like... I shed, <laughs> and like I shed, he'll take the shit you need for free. You don't need for free. He loves shed shit. There's got to be a bunch <laughs> of crap you don't need in that shed. So call Nuff Shed and let Duff Shed handle it. We promise that Duff won't take your talk your ear off. He'll say he'll say hello. Where's your shed? That's it. That's all he needs to know. And that's a uh, Nuff Shed guarantee. Do you mind if Duff lives in your shed? That's a question I. Ask to you. No biggie. Uh, He has a transistor radio. Do you mind if he plays it? (laughs) He has a transistor radio. Do you mind if he plays it? We'll worry about that later. (laughs) Duff needs a place to crash. Check out our sister company, Nuff Shred, to see if your paper shredder has enough capacity. Duff will shred your docks. He just needs a shed for a couple of days. He won't bother you. So bring Duff Shed Shred into your shed life. Thank you very much uh, to Nuff Shed, the city of the day. We have a new code we're introducing. Correct, Matt? Yeah, your code. New new code developed by me in consultation with Matt and uh, Doug, I believe. Wait, we did? I don't know it. (laughs) Well, your your memory will be refreshed. I already forgot it. City of the day today is Washington, D.C. I do know it. The the capital of America. The home of our liberty, it is the sanctu- is a sanctuary of liberty, freedom, and uh, d- democratic values. George mm. Washington. Only George president Washington. there, only president buried in D.C. is Woodrow Wilson. Woke up 
The weather outside is frightful. I love to turn Speaking of, McCartney 3 is coming, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Vic oh, yeah. sent me a, a note McCartney on McCartney 3. I, I was seeing rumors about it for is like should be, it, himself? It should be no. McCart it, 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 <laughs> should, it should be McCartney six, by the way. Uh-huh. Because Doug, I'll walk you through this quickly. Nineteen seventy, his first solo album is McCartney. Nineteen eighty, <laughs> we get McCartney two. <laughs> Everyone loves McCartney. You would love McCartney two. You know McCartney two? It's got temporary secretary. I do like that and song. He, and he recorded up. it in his I'm bathroom. Moving up. I like that song. Let him. What's that? Let him in. Waterfalls. That's is great. Not, Let him in is uh, that was nineteen seventy six. I think. McCartney too. That was yeah. So then we have that's nineteen eighty. Nineteen ninety. We don't see McCartney three. Two thousand. We don't see McCartney three. Two thousand ten. We don't see McCartney three. Now here in two thousand twenty, <clears throat> we're getting McCartney well, we three. Did, he did have albums all those years. Probably, of course. So why didn't they? But the different. I think what makes it a McCartney one, two, three. Hello, where are we? I'm I'm going there. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Is these are one, two, three. what connects these are that they are one, two, three. They're all performed by Maka one, himself. Two, three. Like he does the whole every instrument? Every instrument. Yeah. Uh, the Horner bass? Does he still play that little yeah. thing? That weird little the violin bass? <laughs> that like <laughs> novelty <laughs> bass? <laughs> but this is apparently him on Hoffman during bass. COVID times with his family, wherever he's, camp, you know. Yeah, you know, out. I just went in yeah. and I said, you know, it's, it's easier for me to record in my home than it is to go to a studio, you know. <laughs> so I just uh, clipped off a couple of songs, you know. Play the bass and the drums. Boom, boom, boom. You know, it it's, it's sort of fun, you know, just to do it yourself. You don't have to book anybody. You have to pay anyone. All right. So he does it for a money-saving measure. This billionaire. Yeah, cut, cut corners. You know. <laughs> it's a way to cut corners. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's still, the music is shit. You know, and it's just four-bar, you know, twelve-bar blues mostly. Do you think he's gonna do like? Kind of like computery. Didn't he? Didn't he do like an auto tune kind of song of the last yeah. few years that you guys hated? A uh, for you. No, that, yeah. that song. No, that was that was somebody else. I got no what issues. I, he else. does whatever. Did, he, wasn't that his song? For no, you? no, that was uh, what's the guy's name? I um, wanna fa you. Forget That's his name him. Already. Oh, That's, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I was thinking of the king of fa. Sorry. No. Yeah. What was that about the fa you? All right. There's the weather. The weather outside is frightful. The weather in Washington, D.C. right now, high of 77. Doug, what's the low? Keep in mind, we're talking fall, but you have that East Coast humidity. Okay, I'm not going to do the not do the joke answer. I'm going to try to nail this one, because I nailed it a couple cities ago. 77 is the high in D.C. That's correct. At night, it's getting down to 63. Ooh, so darn close. 61. Mm, very good, Doug. Are we ready for our first guest? Well, well we're real ready. Hot. I don't think she's here anymore. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's go to a, any Zoomer. Any Zoomer will do, and then you can toss them into the... Yeah, let's talk to Bip Henderson. <laughs> bip, 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 bip Henderson. Bip. Bip, uh, bip, bip, bip. <laughs> bip, are you there? Bip. What happened, Bip? Good morning, Bip. How you doing? Bip. 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 I'm asking him to unmute, but Bip's not responding. Oh, move on. There he is, there he is. Oh. Get him out of here. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, there's mm. Bip. How you doing? <laughs> you doing all right? Hello, Hello, baby. <laughs> Your volume's up now. It, I, I, yeah, you're going to have to adjust my drops. I had my computer down. Oh. So, so it's all on me. By the way, I want to say welcome to a new YouTube member, Nolan Allen. <laughs> 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 Bip, uh, what do you got? Are you there? Speak to me, Bip. Yeah, hi, guys. Uh, I was just wondering, Tim, if there's any updates. I know on cinema, rumors were it wasn't being picked up by Adult Swim. Is there any chance that we'd get a podcast back again? Um, it got picked know, up by Quibi. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's, it's currently in turnaround at Quibi. Uh I have nothing to say on that matter at this, at this time. And, you know, we're in this, first of all, let's just be grateful for what you're getting right now. You're getting 
stand-up special this Friday. You're getting uh, Moonbase 8 a couple weeks later. We've got the office hours every week. I want to, you know, it's been a little while since um, On Cinema has been out there. I don't want to kind of crawl back and do some kind of half-assed version of it. Need That's not what we want to do. So we're, uh, we're weighing some options. We've got some, some, th some ways forward. <sighs> a follow-up film, perhaps? What's that? A follow-up to Mr. America? Mr. America like Funkhauser. <laughs> oh yeah, a little bit like Lair. Yeah. Hey Lair, Lair, what are you? Why, why, don't, why don't you just show him? A little, why don't you just show him a little respect, Lair? The guys that we're in my house right now, Lair. <laughs> That's pretty good. I didn't know I could do that. Thanks, it. thanks, Tim. All right. Anyways, how's your day going? It's not too bad. I'm in Ireland, and it's kind of shitty because we just went back into lockdown here. Oh really? Yeah. Well, it's been t I was every morning I take my kid to school and and I listen to the CNN uh, on the car radio and there every morning this John King is ta giving bad news about the virus here in America. They're saying it's on an up upswing. So the cases keep going up. The Trump virus One is ravaging our country. Uh, well, I hope you stay safe and sound and uh, may the luck of the Irish smile on you. Cut. <laughs> All right, thanks, Sam. All right, see you later. Okay. We're a dumb country. <laughs> what is that? We're a dumb country. We're a dumb country? How stupid are the people of the country? <laughs> Fuck off! Cunt. Name of the most holy trinity. Anyway. <clears throat> What's going on, Matt? Anything? Uh, I, I'm cool not seeing her. I just emailed. Mm, and, great. Um, yeah, maybe she's chickened, huh? <laughs> <laughs> chickened out, huh? Alana chickened out, perhaps. This was this was uh, Vic's responsibility. Uh, yes, <laughs> was supposed to make this. Well, what's your call in? Let's just keep yeah, talking to they, Zoomies. They just got yeah. mixed up or slept in a little bit or something. It's all yeah, right. Let's talk to. I need to talk to Phil Braun as well too. We have no, some... he's he's definitely calling in later. Let me okay. see if Phil? he's in yet. No, he's not in yet. Let's um. Let's People talk to Noel Gonzalez. Noel, do you have something today? Noel, 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 Noel. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How How's are everyone you? doing? No, oh, you know I'm warming up. I'm warming up. Are you, are you drinking coffee? I am drinking some hot stuff. <laughs> I feel the good really stuff. Good. The rocket fuel, ladies and gentlemen. It keeps me going throughout All the day. Right. Sit back and relax. Enjoy yourself. This, this is my first time on the Zoom. And so. enjoy the show. This is your first time calling Very in? Very entertained. <laughs> do you enjoy the show? Yes, I do. This is actually my first time tuning in. Um, really? My boyfriend always tunes in, so he was telling me about it. So I think nice? he's still asleep, though. He's still asleep? What time is I it there? Uh, it's ten nineteen. I'm in California. Oh, what's what part of California? It's Southland, north, up north, central valley. Uh, I'm kind of south. I'm I'm in Pico Rivera, so I'm in LA County. Hi. So how can I help you today? <laughs> Just calling in to say hi and how much you appreciate the work I do. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I do appreciate that. Thank you, that. Tim. <laughs> what's on your schedule today? Uh, I'm currently at work right now, <laughs> ah. so uh, I'm trying to be like... What are you, you at, know, an AM, PM? <laughs> I work at AM, PM, but I work from home. How would that work? <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in. I like in. working from home. It's fun. What do you do? Yeah, what do you do? What's your I'm job? A, I'm a 3D artist. Um, I work for CGO Studios. It's like a VR company. I work for Susu Studio Studios. <laughs> <laughs> Who, Doug, did you make a joke about Susu Studio yes, the I other did. day? I got it in my head. Well, the song came Su -su on. Susu Studio. The song came on when I was listening to music, and then. We all just never investigated what you were talking like, about. Su -su when that Studio. song came out, it's just like, yeah, Susu right. Studio. But then I thought about it. I was like, what the hell? I had to look it up, and he, turns out Phil Collins just made that word up. What if it's like secret code for something devious, like cat ma like male castration, or something? <laughs> Just say the word, yeah. <laughs> su su studio. The, other the thing bass was, sound in that song is really cool. Oh, you know, yeah. Well, those are great, it's, great records. There's Phil Collins news. Um, he uh, 
His ex-wife has taken over his uh, Miami mansion, and uh, she's armed, apparently. I saw that. Yeah. I feel bad for that guy. I He's, saw her. She looks like trouble. Like, she like, <laughs> looks like one of those housewives. Houses in her eyes. Housewives of Beverly <clears throat> Hills type people. Um, I also thought I was – speaking of Phil Collins, a Collins tune came on the radio the other day. It was the his cover of, you can hurry, love. Mm-hmm. Oh, you t-. And I was like, it's like a full – it's like a very um, uh, um, like true to this style. True, yeah, the like it's it's, a, it's right on the nose <clears throat> sound mm-hmm. of the original. Right. It's just like I mean, he does a good vo- job of it, but it's like, did you, did you need that version of it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think bands need to start sounding like this again. Like. It almost sounds like uh, that song uh, you made for Awesome Show, where it's like, Which as one? long as I can masturbate. As long as I can masturbate <laughs> in my car. With those dumb horns, like all over. Yeah, <laughs> that's the great Davin Wood on synthesized horns. Anybody see that David Byrne? <laughs> like, do we still have that Special? caller? <laughs> we just sort of. Oh, sorry. Know. Yeah. I want, the, I want to hear about her uh, VR, or what she does with VR. Oh, you want to get her back? Nah, that's right. Well, we well next time. On. Wait, so Matt, time. you just quietly just, just like, dumped her? Just that's what I always on. do. The pounding. You guys move on, and I mute. I don't Otherwise, want this show to be a whole like yeah. show of, of like, uh, thank you, goodbye, good to yeah. talk to you later, and then you get the whole, hey, how's it going? And yeah, the haze and goodbyes. You're they right. They get it. They get it. Thank you, Noel, and welcome to the family. They know we love it. Hello. They know we love them. So yeah, I don't, I, should we I show a uh, Don Jr.? Uh, so yeah, maybe so let's get into some Don Jr. I uh, started this craze. I guess you could call it a craze. <laughs> a craze. <laughs> An internet I love sensation. You, we did. We took the original Don Jr. monologue uh, that he posted, I guess, on Instagram, and I did my version. I could never really do it because it makes me laugh every time I try. But uh, we had several wonderful, talented people out there. Do their version of the Don Jr. Challenge. Do we want to play? Now the I'm original? getting excited. Do, we, do, we do you want to play the original? I'm not just to, set up to do that. I can, I can do it. I can. I think I. Yeah. Well, well, well just it on a video. Everyone's I'm not ashamed. Yeah, everyone's seen it. Let's hey guys, just hope you're doing well. Here's just watching my algorithms get crushed. <laughs> I guess I did something to piss off the Instagram gods. So <laughs> hopefully you're seeing this stuff anyway. We'll do what we can. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Talk to you soon. We'll and do what we can. Is my if favorite. you can't see it, he's he's on his bed. Like reclined on his bed, he has a pillow behind his head, wearing a, a white collared shirt, and well, he we're has about a, to watch six recreations. Okay, so. and he has. <laughs> well, I mean, if they're listening on podcasts, they can't see it. And he has his blanket pulled up to his chin. Some weird uh, some some, camouflage like, blanket with a Punisher right, logo yeah. on it or something. Me, mama, yeah, mama. Yeah. <laughs> me, a Maya. So, anyways, I think that you. Oh wait, hold on. Sorry, wait. I want to get the names right here. This first one is. You want to get into it, Uncle Prango? Yeah, Uncle Prango. So what we're going to do is we got, I think, I think about something like 250,000 people submitted. <laughs> and we've, we've winnowed it down to five contestants, and we will choose the number one Don Jr. sound-alike uh, challenge. Don Jr. challenge begins now with, what's his name? Uncle Prango. Uncle Prango, you're up. Oh, I like hey guys, this one. Hope you're doing well. Just watching my algorithms get crushed. <laughs> Apparently, I did something to piss off the Instagram gods. <laughs> so, hopefully, you're seeing this stuff anyway. <sighs> <laughs> we'll do what we can. Talk to you soon. <laughs> so, I like that a lot. Um, nice. It's got a little Kevin Meany to it, doesn't it? Nice. Remember Kevin Meany? Oh, yeah, we're big bad people. Yeah. Kevin what what was this thing? Where he would like do his mom's voice and Right. Say, <clears throat> we are not that co- we are not Why those you kind of tight pants on. We're big pan people. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him. He was I was hilarious. Went, I went down a weird uh YouTube hole of like uh YouTube feeding feeding me old SNL sketches from like the glory days of my youth, which is like the late eighties and early nineties. I'm Gumby, damn it. Not even that, no, like the Phil Hartman, Dana Carvey yeah. years. And there was one with uh, it was oh, a Star pump, Trek. We like spoof. to pump you up. It was yeah. It was a Star <laughs> Trek spoof with with uh, Kevin Nealon as Spock and uh, Phil Hartman as Bones and William Shatner as Kirk. 
And it was that they turned the enterprise into a restaurant. And it was very funny. But it was um, okay, like, uh, you know, Jim, we were out of tartar sauce, that kind of okay. thing. Like, what are we going to okay. do? Okay. okay. And um, <laughs> Carvey comes in as Khan. And he, it's funny to hear Carvey like, I know what's funny about Khan. He goes, Kark. So he keeps going, Kark. <laughs> like just, just driving it into the ground. But I bring this all up because as an extra in that somebody eating food was Kevin Meany. Uh-huh. Choking oh, wow. on food. All right, you want another Don Jr.? Yeah, let's do another Don Jr. That was Uncle Pango. Uncle let's see. Prango. If, Uncle Prango. I give I like him. Uh, I'm giving him a plus 1. I'm giving him a plus 1 to my birthday party. Dad. Next up is Harrison Cohn. I wonder if he's related hey, to Harrison guys, Ford. Uh, just watching my algorithms get crushed right now. Oh, I like this one too. Looks like we did something to piss off the Instagram gods. <laughs> Hopefully you're still seeing this. <laughs> we'll do what we can. I'll be in touch. Wow. Two top contenders right there. That's pretty exciting. We got one more in this round. Should we make it a bracket? How should we do this? I don't care. Um, <laughs> I mean, do you That's have any... Cool song. What was that? Oh, you want to uh, do three like, and then we'll do Chuck three Mangione later? Jones. We'll do oh. three and then Alana is going to be on... Um, She's joining us in about five minutes. Oh, okay. Very good. You've been in touch. So, so everyone can calm down. Yeah, everyone calm Stop down. Stop calling their cable provider and complaining. <laughs> I want, hello, Spectrum. I'm not trying to... They, this this YouTube Everybody show advertised Alana Glazer, <laughs> and now they're saying that she might not be on. <laughs> All right. We got... This one is... Um, All right. Matt's not interested Dennis, in I am. my shtick today. I am. I love your shtick. I'm very <laughs> sensitive. Did I interrupt? I'm like doing three things at once here today. This is Dennis Grimble. Are you ready? <laughs> Dennis Grimble. What a Dennis great Grimble. name. Dennis Grimble. I'm just sitting here watching. <laughs> My algorithm just crushed. Bingo. Okay, that's wow. what we're talking about. Was that a plus two? I mean, it's not exactly what I asked for, but it's super creative. We already have a winner, I think, here. Wow. Wow. It's pretty good. Well, Grimble, I'm giving him, deduct, uh, deducting a point for the name, Grimble. <laughs> silly. We don't like silly names. <laughs> Um, let's see. Should we see if he's in the chat? Sure. Let's get a little pr talk. Talk to him for oh, a second. He's not. Is he? If you're in here, Dennis, Raw. DM me. I can't find you. Okay. You know. You go. And you tell me what to do. I don't know what's going. on. By the way. Um, anyway. S s uh, I mean, do we even need to get into any of this Rudy stuff? I don't. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Everything, it's all being handled elsewhere. Just, yeah. You want to talk to the newlyweds? And then Alana? Well, I mean, or, uh, or if, uh, is Alana in coming up any minute now? Well, I can said, vamp until she gets in. Yeah, let's vamp for her. Doug, how are you doing today? No, actually, let's <laughs> let's. She can hang out. She's probably not going to be right on time. It's pretty shocked, you dumb fuck. All right, wait. Where's our? <laughs> hey, Doug. Let's do a check in on how Bueller. wet can they get? Bueller, right, hold on. How? I gotta find that. How? Uh, you have to find it. You just made it. Oh, well, I put it in a... People are want waiting. Shit. They want to know. They want to see. Where the hell did it go? <sighs> oh, boy. Okay, I this is a good up. way to vamp. I fucked up, Tim. Hmm. Ignacio, oh, are wet. you there? Oh, why don't we end... <laughs> Look at these new why, don't we wed ed why don't we end things a little early oh, today? <laughs> <laughs> How are we at? Oh, oh shit. It's definitely, it definitely getting wetter. Uh, not sure. <laughs> They're not... They're not oh, drying. Can they get? Uh, it's coming around the back, too. I can see on oh, the back. Really? Or, yeah. I got some back sweat it's, going it's on. coming. No, just like around the back of the pits. Very but good. I told Doug, and he was not interested. I said, Doug, but I wouldn't might. believe this. <laughs> this smells fine. It smells like tap water. <laughs> Doesn't smell like anything else. But he's not interested in doing the, the smell test. I'll come smell it right now. Go ahead. What are we, ja what are we jackass? <laughs> Maybe this will be, get viral. <laughs> it's not that bad. Thank you. Do you smell mine? Well, I don't smell nah. it. Nah. <laughs> I'm not falling for that trap. Very good. Doug's on record wow. that as though, although so I am Tim, perspirating. Would you rather be sweaty and wet or be dry and stinky? Great question. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you asked. Because it. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you, you know, you, you at least you don't stink. So that's probably better I think we than. just normalize sweating, like, though. Having like, a sweaty pit know, like, doesn't, doesn't like make it anyone else uncomfortable thank you as as a stinky yeah, bl yeah. would right um i mean there's much more i can do to obfuscate my w wetness 
than there is for me to hide some kind of odor no. coming off my body. I think people just like how real you are. You're just I'm a real guy. guy. <laughs> One of the no, symptoms like, of, of uh, stage four COVID is no smelly pits. Uh -huh. too, that's, oh, I'm really? just a human being. They don't smell. And I go to the bathroom like everybody else. <laughs> I, but the weird thing about me is I haven't urinated in like 72 hours. So I, n I no leaking. longer process liquids through my penis. <laughs> it is only through my armpits. It drizzles, drizzle piss out of my wet pits. And it smells <laughs> fine, Doug said, so who cares? <laughs> well, Anyways. look who's here in the Zoom. The great, wonderful Alana Glazer. Good morning. Hi there, sir. Good morning. Right, hold on, I want to see you. I gotta be able to see you to speak to you. Where are you? Oh, hi, Alana. How are you? There she is. Hi. I, it is great to. I, this is gonna shock our audience. It is great to meet you. Um, it's what's gonna shock our audience? That I'm. I have never. I don't think I've ever met you. Is that? Can you confirm or deny? Oh, it was Eric. I met Eric in New York once, but um, that's right. We haven't met. We've just, we're getting to know each other on my show. That's the name, new concept we have. Getting to know you. Um, thank you for doing this. Uh, I'm going to let you go because <laughs> we got a little stacked. <laughs> hey, Tim, I'm, you guys, I was just chatting and I don't know who the fuck I was chatting into. I'm like, what am I talking about? I, um, I'm in LA uh, sooner than I expected, and I didn't. Um, I haven't settled in yet, so I don't have coffee. I postmates coffee, and I'm gonna need to grab it in zero minutes. Well, yeah. Well, I'll you need you do what you need to do, and just get. I mean, what are you doing? Can, can you tell us what you're doing in LA? That sounds pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I'm doing a show, a one season show um, for Apple. And it's also cool that it's yeah, just one season. This one sort of. So you're get you're be, you're being given an apple to do one season of a show. Let me get that down. That's right. I'm doing That's a right. one. You could because you what you said was I'm doing one season of a show for Apple for an apple. Yeah. <laughs> so it's um, for a Granny Smith uh, apple. Well, that's terrific. And you've been so uh, you've been ex extraordinarily uh, politically active in this election cycle. Yeah. What, wow. what is, I lost myself. Did there. you really, did you lose yourself in it? Like, did it become sort of your, uh, call, your mission, your calling? Yeah. I have this nonprofit generator that's about sort of talking about civic engagement and make it look here and make you, oh, um, Tim, I, oh, I got to get this post. Go, get it. Get it. We'll, we'll be back. Let's check in with Gray Niner. I like my coffee okay, with get two creams toot. and two Gray shoes. Niner, can you give us a toot? Sit back and relax. Enjoy yourself a oh, cup maybe of he's busy driving. Oh, there he is. We're going to get a... Hey, there he is. Good morning. Three Stooges coffee. We don't... We don't... Alana's going to find that she does not need her Postmates coffee when she gets that honk. Oh, yeah. You want to give her another one when yeah. she gets back? Yeah. We could scare her. Give her a Halloween. Okay, Grey Niner, stand by. I like the vaping, too, at the same time. That's pretty cool. Oh, camera wipes. Oh, that's okay. a real cigarette, dude. Okay. Dude's fucking smoking and driving around Jesus. town. Just He's a real driver. and zooming at the what same the? time. <laughs> Zoom in. This is probably Tim, are we, are we do uh, that song uh, by here? the dead trucking. Trucking be about truck. <laughs> zooming <laughs> for my job these days. Just zooming in a conference call. Zooming. Boy, what's bothering me about uh, about. Um, the World Series, by the way, which we'll Damn. talk about a little later, is Jeffrey they use Tubin? they use this uh, <laughs> <laughs> they use this Grateful Dead song as their in and out for the whole series. I don't know which song it is. Maybe somebody can oh, really? tell me. I, I watched the game. I didn't notice that. You watched it last night. I watched uh, five innings of it. I did not notice that. It was a bad game. It was tough. Yeah. Who's in it? The, the Rays, Rays and the Dodgers. <laughs> Ray <Hello>. who? <laughs> Ray Liotta, oh, Ray. Ray Liotta. So all these guys are named Ray Dan in this, Aykroyd in this as team. Ray, uh, Man Ray, Ray Liotta, uh -huh. uh, Ray Davies. That yeah. coffee exchange Ramana. is taking forever. What is there to go through? What is there to talk about? She's back. I think she's back. She is? Sorry. Oh. About that. How did yeah. it go? It went well. Um, <laughs> it, went, it went good. It went good. So you, so, I you, big ass. so you got like an Airbnb and it doesn't have a coffee maker in it? It does, but I don't have a car yet 
so my brother came over the other day and like and i was like um i just used his car i just didn't get a car yet (laughs) (laughs) Um, alana we have a trucker can you see our trucker in the zoom i can that's so cool i think about truckers all the time because i'm like damn i would not have the strength to do that while i'm driving i always black out and i'm like oh Wait. my god this is so <laughs> and then i like catch up and then i keep driving and honestly i'm like truckers are making america happen yeah at all and also like fuck i could never do that me too i have wow. terrible terrible driving anxiety I don't know. I don't know if you, if you knew that about me. Yeah. I, I really, I don't know that about you. Yeah. I, it's gotten worse. The other day I was driving in this area in uh, the, the, it's called the Santa Monica mountains. And to, it's, it's kind of a back way to get to, to Malibu and yeah, please do what you need to do. I love your, um, what do you call that you're wearing? What is that? Is this it a kimono. It's not a kimono. I call it a dress. I don't know. It's like a uh, house dress. But it's got a tie dye yeah. attitude to it. Like a moo moo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, a lot of someone's coming in your back door. Get down, get down. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sneak peek into the wild and weird and luxurious life of Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. Um, who's in the Apple this show is with weird. you? Do, can we tell you? Can we say? Has it been announced by deadline? I want to get everybody on the show, get a reunion going in a few years. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I shouldn't say because I'll just sure. ruin it. You know what you know Eric what I mean? Wareheim said to me once? He says, I would love to do, he said, I would love to get you and Alana together in some thing, a movie or something. I don't know. surprised we haven't done that yet. I'm going to put Amazing. that on my team. Amazing. I love that idea. <laughs> Goodness. I, I mean, wouldn't that be a blast? Wouldn't the audience go wild? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was I talking? Oh, my driving anxiety. So, I'm driving through this back, I think it's Maholland Canyon, one of these canyon roads, and you find yourself going on these switchbacks and up and like, and it and you there's no guardrails, and so on the way back, you're you're I'm driving down towards this hairpin turn, and I literally almost have to stop and go like five miles an hour, like I my white knuckles, white knuckles, and it's just embarrassing. I feel like I got to get over this. Because I have to be able to drive and get around. It's hard, and like we kind of just pretend like it's not a big fucking deal to drive. Yeah. But it's huge, and like people are like a little drunk or stoned for so much of it. It's crazy. Or they're on their phones, or they're distracted in some other ways. And it's about ba- and and every day I drive, I'm like another day without a massive accident. Okay, well then we're just, we're just, the odds are getting worse every day. Right, right. It's like you're racking up those numbers. But you have to, do you have to drive while you're here in LA? You're not, you should have a car service take you everywhere. You should have. Yeah, I, um, I, I weirdly like Lyft didn't work for me where I am. I'm kind of in the mountains. Like Ooh. it wasn't like, it was like sort of like the, it was like spinning and spinning. I was like, come on. And it wouldn't like land, which is why I had my brother Elliot. I was like, can you help me? Um, but I'm getting a car soon and I won't drive to set. I literally am incapable of that. Um, so I'll just get picked up, but. Well, it's cool you- that you're shooting in LA, but as you know, it's it's going to not be as, it's not gonna be normal shooting vibes, right? Have you gone through the, what that's yeah, gonna I'm- be like? I'm nervous to see, like, you guys feel a little bit chill here where everybody's like, yeah, Corona, nuts. <laughs> and I'm like, do you believe it, though? Because you have so much sunshine and, like, palm trees were planted here 100 years ago. So it's just like palm trees and stuff. Do you really believe that there's Corona? Yes, they're taking huge fucking pre- precautions for COVID. I was, like, s- like slapped by this um, cautious energy and actually so happy to so happy to um, see it, and I'm really excited to uh, see how it works. Well, like, is it even going to be funny? I know because some of the set life is really fun when you get to be loose and get to talk to different departments, right. and you know, it seems like some of the policies I have here are going to be very uh, incongruent with that that and culture. And also, you get you get zoned almost by your department yeah so talent is done together and you know but what i love is like talking to everybody yeah. and like 
get with the grips, you know what I mean? And like getting with the whoever. So it's- Well, the word on you is that, 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 that they're breathing a sigh of relief because you're a bit annoying in that way, that you are just uh -huh. you're talking yes. the ear off of every grip and PA and they're like, okay, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. I'm trying to do my job. <laughs> no, totally, totally, totally. But I mean, I heard like the thing where if you're in a dressing room or I mean a makeup room, there can be no talking in that room. And it's like, oh, that's kind of the fun part of doing all this stuff is to like have little gossipy chats with everybody. And, you know, well, yeah, what can you do? Thank you, Tim. I have the coronavirus. <laughs> that's why I don't have a voice. All right. Um, so how do people so? What is the, the nonprofit that you've launched that is getting people active in the sphere of voting? Oh, so in 2016, I um, like got into organizing and advocating with my group Generator that I co-founded with Glennis Mahar. Yes. And um, so we're like, let's the point of it is to gather and talk about politics and government without feeling foolish. Ah. Um, so we do that in a few different ways. Um, we do that by. Uh, an online format that makes it easy to use your Instagram and Instagram stories to talk about um, issues and we humanize policy in real time in that way. Other ways, uh, other things that Generator is, its existence is, is um, Generator Live, an interview series um, where we talk about, we try to define minimal civic engagement. Cause like when anybody's like, you have to do this, you really should X, Y, Z. And people are like, fuck you or they yeah. feel so much shame or whatever so it's just like what's the minimum like what the minimum has been so far has been nothing and it's gross and over and like that's that can't be anymore but let's just talk about like a minimum standard sure. um so i interview politicians and activists um to understand the system at a homer simpson level is, is how i say it and then also we do these jenny socials voter empowerment dance parties dance for 15 minutes and then um, have activists and politicians come up and talk about uh, what's on the ballot for the upcoming election to create a cheat sheet for the voting booth. And then we cheat dance sheet. for another 15. The cheat sheet is huge because it's very confusing. It can be very confusing this year for people to understand how they can vote. That's right. So that's that's what we've been doing for the past few years. And then I had this tour in March that was <laughs> um, stand up and uh, what? I'm sorry, I, did, uh, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, I made a joke oh, that no. was it canceled because of Corona or did you did it happen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like half stand up, half Jenny socials. And when it got canceled, we were like, let's still make a cheat sheet for the voting booth. And um, that's what we did with the web series and made a 20 part web series with um, uh, Quibi. No, <laughs> um, uh, just, not, just with um, this super pack, pack right now. Anyway, that's enough. That's uh, it. For Alana, me. have you, this is a question my audience is asking, have you decided if you're going to vote this year? <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop talking about it. I already voted. I voted absentee in New York. So you voted for nobody. Okay, got it. That's what absentee <laughs> means. Is what I vote. Anyways. I wrote in you Tim you vote for, for nobody in office. <laughs> Would it be the end of the world if I was running the show? I mean, be honest. Come I'm, on, man. <laughs> Listen, Alana, I appreciate it. It's an honor to have you on the show. You're what I like to consider a tremendous talent. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, I, I have a list of tremendous talents, and you're number one, right behind Jerry Lee Lewis. I have my list. It is of is living. He zero. <laughs> what? Is he zero? Is he is Jerry Lee Lewis no, he's zero? number two. If I'm behind him. He is. No, he's number two. You're number one in my list of tremendous talents. Tim, I do it every uh, Thanksgiving. I re release my 100 <laughs> top 100. <laughs> List of tremendous talents who are alive. Tim, what's your um, what's your therapy situation? <laughs> this is your, it. Your, your flow, you flow. You're in such flow from your subconscious to conscious to mouth out. What's your therapy situation? It's zero. It's this. It's this show. This is how I express myself and express my fears. <laughs> it's it's called podcasting therapy and. I, I learned a lot from Mark Maron, who's been doing it for a while, and uh, who else? Uh, the guy is Dax Shepard. My, my, my mentor is Dax Shepard. He's shown me the way. My guru. Thank you, Dax. Uh, I'm glad that made you laugh. Uh, this is great, Alana. I'm so happy to meet you. Now, now I know we get along. We can riff 
<laughs> and the movie we're going to make is going to be terrific. <laughs> it's going to be really deep, really dark, full of drama. Let's get Noah Baumbach to be in charge. Let's put him in in the in the uh, what do you call it pole position <laughs> on this project. Write us one of your dark marriage story movies, and we'll do it. We'll knock it out of the park. How about that? Oh, that's going to give me some hate mail. Ilana, <laughs> enjoy your coffee. I hope, are you going to eat something too? I don't want you eat, drinking coffee on an empty stomach. No, I ate already, and I will eat again for sure. Absolutely. Everybody does three squares generally. I, I'd do lunch if I were you later on in the day. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. Are you a doctor? <laughs> I'm a dietitian. I talk to a life consultant. Or- me and Dax like are working on a, a dietary consultation <laughs> company. I generally walk people through what I call the three meals of the day. I recommend a hearty breakfast and like a sandwich for lunch if you want like a turkey or a big bowl of soup, big like a soup and a salad a lot of people do. Oh, nice. And then for dinner, I say like steak and potatoes or uh, pizza or Mexican tacos or chicken wings or anything like that would be great. Chicken to China. Peanut butter, hot, hot fudge, fudge sauce. Sundays. Don't forget dessert. <laughs> Peanut butter, hot fudge sauce. Alana, what part of you're? From, are you from the East Coast or from New York area? Yeah, I grew up on Long Island, and then I've been in Brooklyn and Manhattan, just in the city. Are you familiar with the restaurant chain Friendlies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm super a, super. I have a partnership uh, with Friendlies as part of my dietary <laughs> <laughs> recommendations. <laughs> And you can really, you could go to Friendly's for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. That's what I love about Friendly's. So yeah. check out Friendly's.com. Where are you from, Tim? I'm from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Oh, my gosh. Cool. I, I know Pennsylvania real good. And also, you know this. And we're living here in Allentown. <laughs> I would never start it with a... Can you remember the beginning? Oh, yeah, because it's like the factory. It's the steam. It's the... Yeah. yeah, it's it's always been an annoying part of my life that that song exists, but that's another story. All right, Alana, I'm going to let you go back to your oh. charmed life. And good luck with your I new have, show. But... <laughs> Thanks. Um, this was such a pleasure. Ugh, I like have some things later today, and this like broke me open in the way that I needed. it. This is what we do. This is what we do. This is who we are. I love it. I right. miss it. All right, Alana. All the best to you. Cool. Good luck. Bye, y'all. Godspeed. Bye. 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 All right, you guys calm down. Tim, you know how you're talking about um, the, with the COVID stuff, you can't really like talk and socialize. Sure. Of course, I remember. That's like, that's why I don't do those comedy zoom shows anymore Dude. but i did one the other day how was that and i just forgot i mean it's fun why you're doing it but then <laughs> when your set's over it's like the loneliest feeling of <laughs> you're just like it's quiet in your room by yeah. yourself just like it's the loneliest are you, place you are you ever. aware of like are people watching these like are people engaging and there's with no this feedback format? i mean right. i heard there's some shows we can hear them laughing but this one i did was just like you're quiet. just talking to yourself uh. Hoping it's good, and then it's just you're kind of you full of adrenaline because you're like performing, right. and then it's like it's over, and you're just like by yourself. And like, oh shit, the internet cut out. And then no one was watching me. Just at all. silence, just like <laughs> nothing. You're just <laughs> oh boy, bad Matt, where are we no, at? Thank you. Was that uh, you putting your foot down? That's we got be Phil. It. Well, let's check in with the newlyweds first. Okay, good. We have think, okay, good. I think we have uh, yeah, Ignacio. Are you there? And you're betrothed. Here we are. Kitty, right? Bye. Can I get that, that right? Is live. Can you get the Traveling Wilbury song ready, Vic? Congratulations. Sure. You're breaking my heart. Congratulations. Oh. You're tearing it all apart. Sure. <laughs> Wait, play it. See if I got that exact. The, the pitch? Yeah. I love this song, man. Woo! Good fucking Jeff Lynn vibe going on here. You're gonna fuck with it. Okay, get out of here. Sour. (laughs) Congratulations. We don't want to get ding copyrighted. Okay, good. You're tearing it out of here. Okay, good. We should get some honks for the married couple here. Well, we have something better. We have a marriage expert. Congratulations on getting married and. 
<laughs> okay, good. <laughs> sure. Sure. Congratulations to you guys on tying the knot uh, during these COVID times. That's a tremendous uh, accomplishment. Was it? Did you have a weird wedding with people uh, behind plexiglass and I'm everything? Or? No, it was just a really small wedding. I think may, maybe 65 showed up, and then after dinner, there was probably like 30 people dancing. Yeah. Wow. Where Where was this? To, where did the, Where did the wedding take place? Give me a sense New, of space. New Braunfels. <laughs> it's like uh, an hour south of Austin. Oh, Texas. Thank God. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Hmm. Well, this is uh, appropriate that we have you on. I have a big announcement to make. I haven't not told the boys yet, but we are moving operations down to Austin. Uh, Bob. <laughs> oh. That is uh, right. I've secured uh, a bunker uh, 20 stories below ground. You know. <laughs> looks like the inside of an oven, and we'll be setting up shop there. So, Vic, um, pack your bags. I'm ready. A little squirt. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. you guys look, you having some iced coffee. Is that what's going on? Yeah. Did you post made yeah. it? <laughs> um, no. We so you, did you get it before Sit you got me. on the Zoom? <clears throat> it's unconstitutional. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you uh, just got married. And you're looking you for some. Wait. You're looking for some marriage advice. Yeah. How long have you guys yeah. known each other? Three and a half years. Hmm. One, two, three. Have you ever been unfaithful to each other during the uh, three and a half years? No. Um, do you, mm. do you have you been? Uh, would you plan on it? And this is a question. You, I need full <laughs> honesty. The answer is no. 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 No plans. No plans to break the, the bond. Four, two, three, let's go. <laughs> um. Okay. You know, it seems like you guys enjoy each other's company. Um. Again, you're both very attractive. Aww. I'm attracted to both of you. I'm just getting that out of the way. A guy in a tank top gets me going. <laughs> I could see his hairy wow. armpits. I this guy's muscles. Who does she look like a little bit to you? She looks like somebody famous. I can't put my finger on We've it. We've actually met. We've met? Oh, that's Jimmy, why. Thank you. Yeah. Where? We come to all your shows in Austin. Oh, nice. Alanis well, Morris set. Met briefly on the back <laughs> page of here. the Austin. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I have a we have a special guest. I wanted to bring on my special guest uh, to help because my, first of all, my quick advice is: um, do do you guys plan or want to have children? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's huge. I think you have to be aligned on that issue. If you are not aligned on that issue, there are big problems ahead. Uh, who knows what's going to happen? Love you, Daddy. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But if one of you is feeling like I can't, I got to have kids and the other isn't, that's just you're, you're heading down the road towards a semi truck heading your way. Because that becomes a big issue. All right. How's your money situation? Are you struggling or are you secure? We're secure. We're secure. We can have more, but we're secure. Okay. Then I'm really feeling good about this partnership because sometimes financial issues can become stressful and lead to strain and lead to problems speaking of to give you a sort of the other side of the equation i wanted to have on my friend uh brendan walsh who's recently gone through a divorce who can talk about maybe what it's like to go through that because it's He's down on the phone the the, <laughs> the honest the honest answer is the odds are potentially there is divorce in your future we hope there's not but so i wanted to get <laughs> and a guy that's already been through that what's that thank you Thanks. for those well so, wishes yeah. brendan are you there i'm ready yeah, I'm here, Tim. Thanks. Uh, um, how so? How long have you guys been married? Uh, four days. Four days. And which marriage is this for you guys? Our first. Each you the let the Alanis Mars. She looks like Alanis Mars. I know, but Brendan, I just want you to. I've, we've asked these questions already. Can you just tell them the perspective of a guy well, who's I'm been through a divorce? How much? Well, I'm not actually. You know, I've been through divorces. Uh -huh. but how many? I'm currently happily married. You wait. How You're, many? Hold on. I'm, I'm currently happily married. I've been through a few, a couple divorces. Two or three. <laughs> I've, two I just, I'm two. sorry, Brendan. I assume two that you were. I'm sorry, Brendan. I assume that you were divorced. I jumped to that conclusion. I, I apologize. Do. I mean, I am technically, I've been through the divorce process, mm -hmm. but I'm currently still technically married to my current 
wife. Really? Is still technically my wife. Yeah. I did not know that. I just, uh, I'm sorry. I thought because of your issues that you've, I don't want to get into the. She lives in a, she does, she lives in a different state. She was supposed to be on this Zoom, mm -hmm. but, um, she, but you, guess, but is she aware, know. is she aware of the, I don't mean, do you want me to get into, I I'll, if you give me the signal not to get into this, I will not get into this, but. Oh, well, I don't know what you're going to get into. I mean, the <laughs> impropriety, the, the impropriety, I would say is the. The pet uh, store thing? Huh? You're talking about the pet store thing? No, I'm talking about the one, the, 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 the woman that works for the, um, oh boy, I don't, I don't want to name names here, but the woman that works for, uh, that you, the, a, the woman from AMPM that you've been, you told me. You, <laughs> well, it wasn't, it was in Albertsons. It was in, in Albertsons. Albertsons. I'm sorry. And, I got AMPM uh, on the brain, yeah. but you, yeah, you were having a illicit sexual affair with the woman from Albertsons. Am I, am I talking out of school here? Should I not? I, I, and then I assumed that you were <laughs> leave that your wife had left you over that, but that's not true. Okay. No, she left. Well, we, it was an amicable split. It's still ongoing. Uh, <laughs> so you're separated. She, we're, I guess technically you could call it that if you want to get into the legal mumbo jumbo. I, yeah, I do. Yeah. Because I want to get advice about well, how to separation. So, but I, when do you well, know it's, like, when do you, let's talk to the newlyweds here. When do you know it's over? <laughs> That's, yeah. Oh, when do you know it's over? Uh, I'd say, you know, how, so this is both your first marriage. Yeah. Okay. That's, you know, so this is going to be a, this one is going to be, this one doesn't, isn't going to count in the future. But like one. when you guys are in your forties and fifties, you won't even one. talk about this one. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, have we gotten into who the guy looks like? <laughs> uh, not really, but if you want to, if you want to waste time on that, go ahead. I'm going to throw out maybe uh, Joe Jack Talcum from the Dead Milkman. From the what? Uh, Dead Milkman. Okay, I see that. Uh, so I guess, you know, basically, how many times a day do you guys scream at each other? Zero. Zero. I mean, if you want to average it out, point one. We don't really scream. We just talk loudly. Okay. And how many times do you ridicule the size of his genitals? <laughs> how many times a day uh, per week let's just say per week how many happened. times have you tell, do you tell him that he doesn't know how to fuck or hey. you know that he's <laughs> not <laughs> okay what? pp and how, how many secret bank accounts do you have sir <laughs> uh zero zero okay you're gonna want to get a few secret bank accounts because these lawyers once they get into your finances they <laughs> let me tell you dave grohl a friend, he's not a friend, a friend of a friend. Dave Grohl went through a divorce. He's worth $400 million. He was sleeping on a friend's couch wow. for a month. Well, Phil Collins is another good example. All right, listen, Brendan, I thank you very much for your your uh, perspective on this. I apologize you if I've have uh, time. You, you outed you. You get the you. marriage annulled, too. There's still time to get it annulled if, if you want Interesting. To. That's some good advice. And I apologize to you, Brendan, if I revealed something you weren't comfortable revealing on the show about your f sexual affair with the woman from Albertsons, but... <laughs> I thought that no, was public I'm knowledge. happy that I'm happy that you're putting it out there that I'm, you know, capable of having sex and <laughs> that I'm available for sexual intercourse. Uh, how can people get a hold of you? Wants, <laughs> they can email, our, <laughs> they can, uh, you can email my lawyer, Frank Cum uh -huh. 69, F-R-A-N-K-C-U-M 69 at gmail.com. And he can set up a, a meeting. He might just have to vet you first. Very good. Ignacio, 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 Ignacio's, Ignacio, Ignacio and Kitty. First of all, we got to lose the Kitty. Can we do something better with Kitty that feels a little... Why? It's not very mature. We need something a little more respectable. Now, you're a married woman. You got to show a little bit of respect to the family. Now. Wasn't that Jim Baker's first wife's name? I live for respect. I live for respect. Speaking of respect, speaking of respect, if you're a patron member, patreon.com slash office hours live, you can get the uh, pod Chino, the first episode of the Al Pacino podcast that we're providing for you exclusively. Uh, $5 a month or the yearly uh, annual membership, which you get a month free. So join today. Uh, on the phone... If you'd like to stay on, anybody can stay on. We'll open the mute. We'll open the lines. World Record Podcast is pretty good, let me tell you. Let World tell Record you. Podcast dots 
uh, <laughs> dot Albertsons. Is, <laughs> Dot AMP. Why is AMPM so funny to me today? Um, who, who are we talking to now? Well, Tim? what I believe, who I believe we're talking to is a very controversial figure. Uh, currently serving as the president of the United States of America. Whoa. Uh, up for re-election in a few weeks, actually. Week and a half, I guess. Uh, a former... McDonald's spokesman and celebrity game show host, real estate developer, golfer Donald Trump is on the line. Are we? Do we have Donald Trump? Tim, hello, Tim. Can you hear me, Tim? Hello, Mr. Trump. Mr. Tim, it's so wonderful to be speaking to you today. Really, really great to be talking on office hours. We love office and Dunder Mifflin and just about all of it. Dunder really Mifflin, like Michael yeah. Scott. <laughs> Sorry, like sir? all of it. And with the stapler and the jello, I just thought it was great. So we wanted to call in and say hi. Sir, are you, this is an honor to have you. Are you busy preparing for the big debate tonight? Hell no. What do you, what do you think I would want to be doing this morning? I just had a six omelet <laughs> and uh, I'm uh, just chilling. Let's see. Baron came in and he had the iPad and there's this. He has the videos where a red panda frolics through the snow. And I said, good job, Barry. See if you can bookmark that. And uh, Melania is coughing up a lung in the other room. And I'm just, I'm watching TV. And I thought I'd call in because we really got to, we've got to get out the millennial and the Gen Z vote. And I know that you've got the beat on the, you're doing a Dick Clark. And you've got the beat on the young people, the iron, the irony. Irony poisoning. So we're calling in to talk to the young people of America. <laughs> well, you're not very well liked by if you look at the polls when it comes to the youngs. Uh, you're not the most popular person in the world. Uh, what What is your message to them? What do you What do you What can you offer? What's your sales pitch? You're a salesman, of course. What is your sales pitch going forward into your second term? Young people, you want to vote for Donald Trump? You want to figure it out? And you want to get down there and you want to do it on the day. OK, <laughs> so you call in, say, I'd like Donald, please. <laughs> and we're going to be coming together. OK, we're going to unite behind whatever stupid thing I thought of that morning. And we're going to it's going to be really beautiful, probably better than all of the Americas, North, South, East America, West. We're all coming together to do it. So and no really. <laughs> that Canada is going to be doing it too, probably Alaska. So we'll see. But <laughs> as we come together as a nation, we're going to be singing the song. We're going to be doing the Jesus. We're going to be doing it all. And I think it's going to be really great. <laughs> really great. What's doing the Jesus? Young people, bring your Game Boys and bring your, your crayons and everything to the polls. Okay. Bring a big gun because there's gonna be there's gonna be everybody there. Bad people do. <laughs> big gun. You know what I mean? Bad people. So you're encouraging people to come armed to the polls. Well, you know, you bring you bring so you gotta wait in line and you gotta do something with your with your time while you're waiting in the line. So <laughs> Mr. Trump. Why not why not clean a big gun? Why not clean a big gun and wear a bulletproof vest, bandolier, <laughs> big sombrero, I don't care. Do but you the uh point is, do you sorry yes i was going to ask you about the uh uh the rolling stone top 500 albums if you saw got a chance to see that if you had any uh strong opinions about the choices they made or because you you do use music a lot at your rallies do you, i know you seem to be an elton john fan i love elton i think he's great he's a big tall black guy <laughs> and he makes some great music what's that now he's made great music <laughs> Some of the best music we've ever heard from the 90s and on, pretty much his entire career has been pretty incredible. <laughs> so when they did Lion King, said this was great. You know what I mean? We thought it was great when Lion King and with with all of it. I really like all of it. <laughs> so we love Elton John and we like, you know, with Rolling Stone, when they started doing the magazine, I called them up and I said, don't do a square magazine uh -huh. if you try not to get the squares to read it why are you making it square it's not the right shape <laughs> people see. want to be able to put a magazine in their pocket they want it like <laughs> you know like uh jet or like disney adventures 
a, a soap opera digest. We want a little magazine, okay? Little magazine, big words. <laughs> and they do big magazine, little words. And I just thought it was awful. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought it was awful. <laughs> Wait, the, the size, you're saying the size of the Rolling Stone magazine. The was, type size. The ty yeah. Interesting. The type, the type size and the pictures, it's not, and wrong pictures, by the way. It, you're supposed to be a rock and roll magazine. <laughs> and you just and I just looked at the latest issue. They got Al Gore on there in khakis, and I said, "Who's gonna pick this up and read it?" No, <laughs> you gotta be out of your mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What about no other magazines? Do you up. have an issue with uh, enter, uh, uh, Entertainment Weekly? We loved Entertainment Weekly because they let Stephen King <laughs> write whatever the hell he wants in the final page, oh. and I thought maybe that's pretty good. <laughs> and I thought they were going to do a spooky story. I thought they were going to do Stephen King about Carrie or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. This final destination. And instead, they yeah. they let Stephen King, and he just goes on there, and he talks about Shooter Jennings. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> He's not a big I fan. Listen, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I, I listen to ACDC while I write my my. My my stupid boomer stories about a guy who gets drunk and he beats his wife. We get it. The monsters, your alcoholism, Stephen King. We get it. You've told us that two hundred times. You're not a fan. Of, you can't be a big fan of Stephen King because he's very big, very critical of you, sir. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Donald, Donald's gotta go. We, I mean, if that's working on you, you've you've been hitting the head. You've been you've been in some Stephen. Yeah. Disaster, you know what I mean? So Stephen King, he's nobody likes him anymore. Very unpopular Stephen King. No really? one's reading him. Oh, he's totally failed. Yeah. Nobody likes it anymore. <laughs> nobody likes Stephen King anymore, yeah. Nobody even reads it. No. <laughs> That's Tim. Too, yeah. Tim. Sh shoot straight with me. Name one Stephen King book, okay? Name one Stephen King book, and I bet you can't do it. Uh Pet Cemetery. Well, that one was, you know, that was a big shame. They didn't do it. They weren't very nice to the cats. <laughs> uh, weren't very nice to the cats in that one. Sir, um, <laughs> did you catch this, the uh, video your son made of uh, talking about being, his algorithms being uh, crushed? Son, what son? What are you talking about? <laughs> your son, Don, Donald Jr. That guy! Yes, I saw a little bit of the video, and he... You know what? I have, you know, I've got big son, and I've got middle son, I've got... I've got a couple others, and you'll find out about those November 4th, you'll find out about the others, but... Oh, really? So there are more, more offspring out there that you're... That Probably. Are gonna... You know what? I'm not going to talk about it, because that's not what people want to know about, but... <laughs> People, and people aren't interested, but listen, so Baron does incredible cyber, and Baron came over and he showed me. He does incredible cyber, is that what you said, sir? <laughs> you know, he's doing cyber, and he's doing phone, and we're doing all of it very good. <laughs> Probably better than China, better than Taiwan. We're doing Huawei, we're doing Google, we're probably doing it. We're probably doing phone better than Nintendo. We're, we're probably... <laughs> So Baron came over and he said, Dad, here's how you shoot Instagram, okay? Uh -huh. We're going to do Instagram. And you hold it up over your phone, over your head, and you look up so we don't see your, the rolls. your jowls. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see the rolls. Yeah, I get that. You don't yeah. want it looking like, like Pillsbury boy. You know the little, you know the little Pillsbury boy in the... They, he's made out of he's made out of cream and they poke his belly. Sure, yeah. Is that that if you're if he's the camera angle dope. is wrong, that's the way you look. Cream. Yeah, if you hold the phone wrong, you look like a snug a snuggle bear. Remember the snuggle with the of course. laundry <laughs> bear. I think they I think they poke each other. I think they're poking each other. If you know what I mean, I think they get together a lot. I think they get together a lot. The a lot of people have been snuggy and the. Uh, and the uh, Snuggy Bear and the Pillsbury Doughboy get together and they just they have poke parties. What about my and buddy? What about the toy my buddy? My buddy, my buddy and me. Remember my buddy? Well, my dog? buddy watches. He just watches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just watches. He's not animated. Okay, Pillsbury and Snuggy Bear, they they're animated. And my buddy, he just stands there. He just stands there and watches. He's a freak. Okay. <laughs> 
He's pulling a little Jeffrey Tubin watching the the action on the on the screen maybe. Boy Jeffrey. Boy Jeffrey. The only Jeffrey I feel bad about. I see. Jeffrey Tubin. The only yeah. Jeffrey you feel bad about is Jeffrey Tubin. No other Jeffreys out there or living or dead. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a very uncommon name. I don't know a lot of Jeffreys. <laughs> there you go. Um I, well, the reason I bring up the Don Jr. thing is we're trying to do a game here. We've had some audience members, uh, fans, do a, a simulation of the the Don Jr. crushed algorithm, and we have two more, uh, two or three more contestants. Three, three more. So we're gonna get. It's three. all a simulation, Tim. It's all a simulation. Oh, Elon you, Musk. <laughs> you do. You believe that theory that we are living in a simulation? We're li well, we're living in a simulation or we're living in a material world. <laughs> One of the two, so make your choice. Interesting stuff. Have you ever read anything uh, like uh, Terrence McKenna or um, uh, Richard, F Richard Feynman or any of these sort of big, big science thinkers out there? Are you a fan of that kind of big think uh, mentality? I, I read the... First page of Michael Lewis Liar's Pokey. <laughs> and I said, Snoozer. And I read about two thirds of Adana Izzy Coates. And I thought there was pretty interesting stuff in there. Which one? And it's Adana Izzy Coates. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. And what? then I said, I need something to just sort of lighten the load. And I got, and I've just been reading Nicholas Sparks for a long time. So, oh, yeah. Nicholas Sparks, it's pretty feel good. It's yeah. pretty feel good. Just Young like lady it. moves to an island or something, and then she meets a big hunky boy, and <laughs> and then goes from there. Romance novel, romance novels, interesting. All right, but so what gonna... are you talking about? Was science or something? I I just don't I don't want to do it. Isaac Asimov and all of it. It's it's just a bunch of fruity boys in the '60s doing drugs and. I, I just don't get it. So you're not an Isaac Asimov fan. Okay, sir. Uh, so we're going to play you a couple of these contestants here, and maybe you can help us pick the winner. Um, can we play the next, uh, Don? Do you mind staying on, sir? I know you're probably busy with lots of world events. Uh, always lots going on in the Oval Office, I'm sure. Not today. I'm <laughs> running for re-election, so we cleared out the whole day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we got <laughs> we got Megan Wolf. This is Megan Wolf. You ready, Wes? Megan Wolf. Just watching my algorithms get crushed. Uh, must have done something to piss off the Instagram gods. Well, hope you're seeing this stuff anyway, and uh, talk to you soon. Okay, <laughs> I like the effort. Very good. Uh, who's next? All right, okay. sorry, it takes me Hope one sec well. to get it. Oh, whoops. Wait, watch. hold up, Wes. I got to rewind, sorry. Let's definitely play the whole clip. Yeah, I know, I know. There's a little... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need you to vamp a little in between each one. Uh, uh, sir, uh, what... Okay, ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Hope you're doing well. Just watching my algorithms get crushed. I guess I did something to piss off the Instagram god. <laughs> so hopefully you're seeing this stuff anyway. We'll do what we can. <laughs> Talk to you soon. This isn't a little fair because we're out of sync and it feels like it, it's that a I little know. hard to know for us because it's not out of sync. I'm for just the going audience. by the, the mm -hmm. sound of it. Right. That was Gunnar Matson. Okay, one, more. one more. You like Gunner, sir? Well, he got the breathing right. You know, when Donald, sometimes Donald has a, a bad dream and he comes in breathing heavily like that and he wants to get in the big bed with Melania and me and we stood over. <laughs> we say, what did, what did you, did you have to talk to somebody? What, what was the dream? Was it the big stairs? All the stairs are really big. Uh-huh. All right, we got one more. This is Nathan.com. Oh, Nathan.com. Okay. Well, just watching my algorithms Simple. get crushed, so must have done something to piss off the Instagram gods, but uh, hopefully you're still seeing this anyway. We'll do what we can. <laughs> nice pause. Nathan's, sir, you're a Nathan's Hot Dogs fan. I like Nathan's Hot Dogs. I do. 
I've done the contest a couple times. <laughs> you what? I did the contest at Nathan's Hot Dog oh, where they do everybody eats the Nathan's Hot Dogs. Terrific. What about Blimpies? In New Is Blimpies still around in New York? Blimpies? I'm more of a Wiznos guy, but Subway has the better breakfast. <laughs> Who, who's our winner? What do All you right. think? Should Doug we... goes to you, Doug. Who? Don't forget about Uncle Prango, Harrison, right. Dennis Grimble from the first um, round. The guy from the the last guy from the first round, I think. The the, the most creative. I like the. Doug I just loves creativity. Going by framing alone is why I I picked that one. All right, let's bring him on, Dennis Grimble. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, that's he's not the winner. Do I get a vote? Yeah, we all get a vote. Oh, whoops. Well, somebody Sorry. said it's up to me. Oh, it's, uh, it's to I, you. I, I was a fan of Nathan, the way he, uh, Nathan.com, mm -hmm. the way he enunciated and the big lips and everything he was doing. I, I'm a fan of that. That's my vote. I like that one, too. They're all great. I know. I like so them all. Choose. I'll go Grimble just because I love the creativity. He took it, the challenge. But the final vote goes to the president. of. He's the decider, as George W. Bush used to say. He is the, the deal maker. The deal maker. <laughs> I like the lady because I like the ladies. There you Megan go. Uh, That's Megan. But the Congress, we are the Congress. We do have the veto, the power of the veto. No, that's the president that has the power of the veto. Wait, do we have two? We have I'll two votes. We have two bring, votes. We have, yeah, we just bring them all. Grimble and Grimble has two votes, Megan. right? Yeah, Grimble and Megan, Think, you're on. Wait, who did you vote for though? Uh, Nathan. Just give everybody a prize. I think everybody, everybody <laughs> no, gets a trophy. Everybody gets. We're going to be. You and I voted for the same guy. Yeah, Grimble. Grimble, oh, that's there? the winner. Then, everybody right? gets a trophy. Hey, you got to say Grimble. something. Well, gets a I think A goes to A for effort goes to Grimble because Speak there was up, a Grimble. there was a little production involved hey, in what he did. Grimble, when did it hit you? Oh, hi, Megan. Nice hey. work to you. Congratulations, you're the runner-up. <laughs> let me let uh, the president go. I know he's got a busy day preparing for the. Well, yes. I don't know what, but what. Well, Megan, you're a very beautiful woman. <laughs> That's nice to hear. You look like the girl who runs around with the coffees. I love it. <laughs> you look like the girl that runs around with the coffees. What the hell is that supposed doesn't to be? Doesn't she look like doesn't she look like she runs around with the coffee? You know when the when the pretty girl comes up and she says, I've got a nice chai for you. No. <laughs> Megan, uh, are you voting for Donald Trump this year? Please. <laughs> Not this guy. No? no Why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. Donald, make your pitch to Megan and, and just one, you have one shot. Megan, have you voted yet? Yeah. You have, okay. okay. Well. Megan, you but can vote as many times as you want, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you go in there, you tell them, I want strong defense. I want free enterprise. I want like a bunch more people to die. Whoa. <laughs> I, want, I want like, I want like coal to be a thing. Okay. Coal, coal to be a thing. Donald, Mr. President, right. um, what's a personal guarantee you can make for Megan in your next administration? I will die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> interesting. I am unwell. <laughs> Really? That's something that's going to break some news if that you're confirming that you have you are going to pass before, you know, sometime during your second administration. Well, right now, it's not looking good. <laughs> Every time the doctor comes in, he looks at the sheet and he screams. <laughs> so, matter of time, OK, matter of time. He screams I look like that. You know, the operation guy when he gets naked and he's got all the holes in his body. Sure. That's me. <laughs> okay, sir. Well, good. We wish you only the best, as I do everyone. I don't wish anyone ill will. Uh, we'll let you go, sir. Back to work to you. Say hello All to right, your folks. lovely wife, Megan. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I love Tim and Aaron, and I love the whole thing. I thought it was great. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> That's kind of neat. You <laughs> got the name wrong, Tim and I Aaron. I think Grimble's down now too. And party boy. Party boy's in the room. Bring them all in. It's a party. I do like some of Dennis? Those songs. Hey, how's it going? There's Dennis Grimble. Hey, guys. By the way, it looks like, according to my Zoom, it looks like we have some intruders trying to get in with very, very hey. funny names. Oh, yeah. We're leaving them in the waiting room. I see. Room. Well, guys, we wish you the best, and we hope you learn from this experience.
Mm-hmm. Enjoy wasting your time. Dennis Grimble and mm-hmm. Megan, perhaps a little connection here. Do you guys know each other? Hey, this whole screen. <laughs> we do now. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, Grimble and Party Boy 69 is here. Ooh. PB. Oh, Tim, Vic, Doug, it's me, Party Boy 69. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. It is a pleasure so, to have you, man. All right, thanks, Grimble. Thanks, Megan. Congratulations, Congratulations. you guys. Congratulations Hello. on all your prizes and all your wins. Hello. Very creative stuff. Um, well, I have Party Boy 69 to round things down with his... Absolutely banger bop classic slapper <laughs> happening right now all over the internet. Boom, boom, boom. What's it called? My, I'm taking a bath with you or something? Bathe with me. 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 That's it. That's it. I like it. Really. What is? What's your deal there? You're, you got your some. You got the fog machine on, and you've got. <laughs> where are you? Is everything? It's, there's not some kind of kitchen fire happening, is there? It was. Uh, it was just a, it's just showbiz, baby. It's what? Uh, uh, showbiz. Showbiz. And it looks like you've got a, somebody operating a Zoom <laughs> camera. It's like you're zo- somebody's zooming in. Is that you doing that, or do you have a partner there? That's me. That's all me. <laughs> one man show, one man band, one man show. That's amazing. Just so you're like Ringo when he's doing that message to the fans, where he's controlling the Zoom. It's my theory that he's. Got a remote controls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like uh, uh, Yellow Submarine. There you go. <laughs> you do take uh, your song. Vic Berger here edited the video. Um, it's he a terrific, did. It's a terrific video. Uh, it's a great song. I take umbrage. I mean, uh, is the idea that the bath temperature, the water in the, of the the bath, is sixty nine degrees? Uh, yes. That's not. The, I, that's not. That's a little cold. Wait, Celsius, Celsius or Fahrenheit, party boy? Uh, Celsius. Okay, well then that's pretty hot. Tim. Is that too hot? Then that's probably very too hot. <laughs> oh, sorry. <Scalding> skin. <laughs> Either way, well, it's slice- Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit's too on, cold. Uh, where you, I, I guess it, it depends on what continent you're on, right? I want to do something with my mind. I want to zoom in. Can you? Can I? I'm going to zoom in on Party Boy 69. Yeah, absolutely. We can get a zoom on. Zoom on. in. I'm getting it. I'm picking it up. Picking I can in. get the zoom. Zoom in. And we're zooming. Zoom, zoom. We're getting the zoom on the camera zoom right in. now. I'm getting the zoom on the zoom. camera. It's not happening. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's too not, far the away. Zoom's oh, not the, working. Can, somebody, we the, can we get the zoom? Somebody. Can we get the please, zoom? Can please. the camera zoom I'm in? I'm pushing as hard as I can. Yeah, come on. Camera. Push in. Push the fuck in. Push. Ah! Ah! There it is! It's working! Ah! <laughs> push! Kiss! Push! Oh. Oh. oh, it worked! I used my mind to push in! All right. Push. Push out. It's e- much easier to push out. That was... Much easier to push out. out, yeah. Um, well, it looks like you're waiting to get your teeth cleaned or something there in that corner. I don't... <laughs> Anyways, so... Mind if I vape in here? D- um, <laughs> let me ask uh, Doug like if he has a question for... Doug Doug is here. Do you have a question for Party Boy 69 Yeah, Party Boy. I've been a fan for a few years, and I'm wondering where your trademark uh, necklace is with the New Balance shoe on it. Hi, <laughs> question, Doug. Thank you for the question. <laughs> Um, I, uh, some bastard stole it at a show last year. Fuckers. Yeah, I know. These motherfuckers, they come up, they, 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 uh, they smooth me by saying, hey, we'll get you drinks while you're playing. And then next thing I know, hey, can I wear your necklace? Sure. And the, 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 the drinks, nor the drinks, nor the necklace come back. So. You blonde bastard. Vic. I, uh, I really blew it. Here's I your really time with it. Party Boy 69. Your question for Party Boy 69. What, uh, mm-hmm. what's the best day of the week to party hey Vic. hey buddy <laughs> what's your uh, favorite day of the week to party you stumped him <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd say monday is pretty good monday i like mondays too <laughs> monday is great to party great to hear uh, uh, <laughs> This interview will be transcribed and will appear in Rolling Stone magazine next month. 
Um, what else can... Uh, where, how can people find your music, Party Boy 69 Are you on uh, all the streaming platforms? We're on, we're on uh, all the streaming platforms. We just released Faith With Me on J-Swipe, which is uh, really exciting. It's the network that releases your music to uh, the correctional facilities all over America. <laughs> What's it called? Um, J-Swipe? What's it called? I think it's J-Swipe or J... J... J Mac. So America's convicts Lovely, get to hear your music first? Yeah, that- yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a really it's an exciting new platform that I, uh, I've also decided to invest in. It's sort of something that's up and coming, I think. Uh, from what I've heard, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, potential in that market. So, exciting. Great. Thank you, Party Boy. Uh, looking forward to meeting you in person one day. How's everything going over there in London, England? He's yeah, in Melbourne. things are good. I mean... Oh, he's in London? I thought you were in... No, uh, I am. No, I'm in London. I'm in London. I'm in oh. London. Currently in London. I'm kind of a little bit stuck here. Tried to go home, but not, not going to happen this time, unfortunately, due to the uh, coronavirus. Yeah, but things are good. Do? I've been busy. What can you do? What can you do? Party what boy. Can, do? How do you, how, can I ask, how do you keep busy there during this time as a DJ? Yeah, I, I've been... Uh, I haven't been doing so much DJing as of late. I've been... Um, Using the, this time, I've just recently developed my own style, my own brand of martial arts called uh, K Tech and Horse Flow. Let's see a sample. Um, <laughs> I've, uh, yeah, I've, I've spent many years of studying what I consider to be the uh, the uh, natural world's most ma- magnificent animal, the humble horse, and <laughs> I've blended that with my passion for hand-to-hand combat and martial arts and I've created a uh, special brand of self to self to self combat called K Tech and Horseflow and it's uh, it's really truly something special. Awesome. We actually we have maybe Check we should out, show actually. it on after hours. We'll show it on after hours if you don't mind. We're gonna hang out, yeah, right? yeah, I want to yeah. get to my final we're I want to move good. things along from Party Boy 69 cuz it's been an incredible interview but I do see <laughs> Timmy Shackelford in the Zoom who's got a tremendous background that I want to acknowledge and support. Uh, thank you, Party Boy. We'll see you on thank a, you guys. After yeah, hours, Party Boy. Yeah, we're going to premiere his, or it's already premiered, but we'll we're going to show, we're gonna show his uh, karate video. Karate video, great. Timmy, Timmy Shackelford, hey, hey. are you there? I'm here. Watch this, guys. There he is. He's on the... <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> are you... <laughs> yeah, the folks listening, he's on the set of the, uh, what's your name, <laughs> Kelly Clarkson studio this oh. kelly clarkson studio <laughs> that's awesome You're listening to the vin diesel song back here <laughs> my music is playing <laughs> dj tesco is timmy what's going on tim dude i am uh I have turned every ringtone on my phone into drops. Oh, really? So as I, oh, yeah. You're and a so fan, huh? I, oh, big fan, big where, fan. Where are you right now? What state are you in? Where, where, where can you identi- how can we identify where you are? <laughs> Some sending Arizona. drone strikes. Arizona. <laughs> yep. Arizona. So uh, everyone all around town gets to hear the, uh, I got hairy legs. One, two, three. <laughs> What are you walking around getting phone calls in the middle of the day and walking around the street? Hey, I'm a busy guy. <laughs> Where in Arizona are you? Got? Chandler, Tempe, uh, neighbor. Okay, because I was there last week, and mm. it's a real trumped out place. Are you surrounded by Trumpies? Trumpets? I mean, they had like There's Trump a- merch on the side of the road. Like, oh man, like uh, it's very popular there. You know, it's a very mm-hmm. he's a very popular. It's a swing state, though, right? Or is, is he? Where, where, what are what are Donald's chances in Arizona, Timmy? I think it's I. I get the sense. I shit. I don't know, but I uh, I do get the sense that it's gonna go blue uh, this time around. Our country uh, is going to hell. Fuck, I don't know. That Kelly uh, seems pretty pop. I mean, you get you run an astronaut. You're gonna hopefully win if you run a real actual astronaut for senator. I mean, that's a good Kelly's that's a got good that resume. one in the bag. Yeah. All right, Timmy, the show is over for you. Is she the kind of diaper wearing astronaut? Is that the thing? No. Um, she doesn't do the diaper. I want to thank um, <laughs> Ilana always. Glazer. I want to thank Donald Trump. <laughs> the pipe. Thank Donald Trump Jr. Is, if Uncle Phil is around, can we talk to him in the after hours? 
if, if he's around? He's, yeah, he said he can join okay. us. I apologize to you, hours. Phil. It was, obviously, it, was a, it was a wacky day, wasn't it? Phil. We had a major delay. Major delay? Phil. No, we had a major delay yeah, in the show today, and, but we got through it. Yeah. yeah. But we had to Ending bump right on time. Phil. Perfect. Sorry, Phil. What Phil, a wonderful I'm way to spend my morning with you folks out there. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for supporting Office Hours. Patreon.com slash Office Hours Live is where we're headed because we're about to do the After Hours show. Um, tomorrow night, the stand-up special in Evening with Tim Heidecker begins at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. I'll be in the chat. Uh, what else do we have coming up? We have, obviously, the Moonbase 8 show is coming to Showtime. Hopefully, I'll get those boys on to talk about it. Uh, I'm going to be calling in to the Sam Cedar show tomorrow. Halloween Squatter episode Brady. next week. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> to squash my beef with Sam. Hopefully arrange for some air travel so he can come out and be in the studio with us <laughs> as soon as possible. Vic, what do you have to promote? Uh, I got nothing. Nothing at all. Well, the patreon.com slash Vic Burger. Check out my Patreon so I can make more videos. You, can, you haven't done music. anything with the uh, debates? No, it's too depressing. Yeah. Just like... I mean, are you going to watch tonight? I am going to watch it, and if something uh, inspires me, maybe I'll do something. But Doug, what do you I have am to, ready to move on. Thank you. What do you What do you got, Doug, in your in your back pocket? Anything you want to talk about? Well, I got my podcast, the Podcast. Always got, a big hit. Uh, I have a new single out <laughs> on all the streaming platforms called Habitat. It's a rap song. Check oh. it out. And also, I have my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Doug. Well, I want to thank you boys for being with me through thick and thin and through standing behind me literally and also figuratively and being a support (laughs) system in my life. I look forward to these Thursdays as I do uh, every day of the week because I'm a positive, optimistic guy. Thank you, Tim. All the best, everyone. Please be safe. Please love one another. Share the good, the gospel of the Lord. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and Jonathan who are killing it lately with their gospels. We love you. Let's go. The smell. The Holy Trinity. You have the Holy Trinity. The smell. The Holy Trinity. You have asbestos mouth. Let's go. That's real hot. The Holy Trinity. Oh, the Holy Trinity. It smells so good. Let's it smells go. so good with all that The Holy cheese. Trinity. Oh, I'm going to have to wait a minute. It smells so good. Well, I do like bacon. If you're waiting for a hug, you might want to pack a lunch. I can't have too much. You can have a little too much mayonnaise, but... Oh, that's oh yeah. Real hot. Oh. It smells so good of all that cheese. Spit in my mouth. Say what? Spit in my mouth. Oh! Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Ooh, I'm popping. Right no one has ever heard of you. That's some bullshit right there. I told Doug not to ask that question, but he insisted. This motherfucker- Dude, you're getting old. Stood. Doug. Doug. Doug's drops. Doug's drops. Vic Burger. Doug's drops. Doug. Doug, you are just like the Mr. Interrupter. Vic Doug's drops. Burger. Tim. God damn it, Doug. Tim. Doug, help me out here. Tim.